Serious, what secret could ruin your life? 15 years ago, between jobs, I took a short term gig helping a large gay PRN company, assisting them resolving some performance issues on their website. It was supposed to be only 2 weeks. That was 15 years ago. No one in my extend family knows that I work in gay PRN. Let alone know that I'm in charge of everything except video production. My dad, probably, s sorely abused me when I was a kid. I say probably because I don't actually remember it. But all the signs were there. I used to not want to clean touch my genital area and once I had blood in my panties, my period started many years later. Just to name a few. Apparently he drugged me to make me sleep and then do whatever he did. The case went to court but they decided there wasn't enough proof. Though he wasn't charged. My mom was granted full custody though. I don't really feel like it was my fault. But I definitely feel disgusting. I mean. It's about the most disgusting thing a person could do. I don't really know what the point of writing this was. But it feels a bit liberating to be able to say it. I hope anybody who's gone through familiar things isn't doing too badly. When I was about 5 years old. My sister, 2 years old, and I were in the backyard in a kiddie pool. When my mom went inside. I attempted to drown my sister. After I saw her lifeless. I realized that it was a big mistake. Pulled her out of the pool and called for my mom. Luckily she knew CPR and she was life flighted to the hospital. My mom thanked me for saving her. Pulling her out of the pool. Next week was my birthday. The police. Firefighters. Paramedics came to my house to give me gifts and celebrate my birthday. To this day 20 years later. I still think about it. I remember the day so vividly. Not a soul knows the real truth. Little kids often don't fully understand the consequences of life and death situations. You made a really bad childish decision. But recognized the gravity of what you'd done and immediately took action. I'd commend 5 year old you. A normal reaction for a little kid who just did something bad is to run and hide. You didn't do that and your sister is alive today. I forge my high school transcripts to get into university. I can't even think about the consequences to my actions if anyone were to ever find out. I'm 3 weeks shy of graduating with a degree in biology. You're an inspiration to delinquents like me everywhere. I'm using a proxy to access websites that are blocked. I live in an Islamic country so if the police find out about it, I could get arrested. I own accounts on multiple sites dedicated to taking down child pornographers. If anyone knew who I was, I imagine there would be a lot of perverts wanting revenge. And I don't want to put anyone at risk. As a mother to two kids, I wish you a wonderful and happy life. When I was 10, my cousin Esuili molested me during a sleepover at my aunt's house. My aunt walked in on her molesting me and took me away from her. However, since that day it was never talked about within my family and everyone acts like that day never existed. I am in serious debt because of a drug addiction I used to have of which my family didn't know I had. I'm almost 2 years clean now but I can hardly pay any bills I have and I'm afraid to ask any family member for money because I know I can't pay them back in the near future. Edit. THNX for all the kind words guys and gals. Sadly here in the Netherlands declaring bankruptcy isn't as easy you have to have certain points going for and against you to actually declare it as far as I know. As for the people talking about sending something to help. PLZ if you want to help send it to some sort of charity that helps addicted to get and stay. Clean. Because for me even though I have it rough the people still fighting this have it 10x rougher. This question always makes me wonder about the horrible secrets that people can't bring themselves to talk about. Even in a semi-anonymous place like Reddit. The people here who have spoken up already have pretty intense secrets. Just imagine the secrets that go unshared. My oldest son committed suicide in 2015. He shot himself in the head. Every day I talk myself out of putting myself in dangerous situations where I could possibly be killed or hurt because I miss him so badly and want to be with him. Edit. 
Thank you so much for the words of support and encouragement both here and in private messages. I appreciate all the thoughts. I want to assure everyone concerned that I am indeed seeing a therapist regularly. I'm doing okay and I spend as much time with my younger son as possible. He's graduating high school next month and is our sunshine and joy and through him my oldest boy lives on. I am humbled by the care and concern I've received from so many strangers. You guys are incredible. The plain truth is that I can't deal with the pain of the disease. My daughters can't accept that I am so sick. My husband can't conceive of losing me. But I'm sick and I am going to die. And I'd be at peace if they could be okay without me. But I'm gonna miss my grandbabies. They are so lovely. Baby Teddy is so perfect. Most people are under the impression that I do very well when it comes to talking to women. But not only have I not had actual sx in months but the last time I did have sx I was raped. I was out of town and I stumbling home from a bar. I was so drunk that I couldn't find my hotel so I decided to hitchhike. A guy picked me up and took advantage of me. I was so drunk that I only remember bits and pieces. I can't remember his face either. It doesn't really affect me that much because I try to pretend it never happened. When I do think about it though. It does hurt a lot. I never thought it would happen to me. I was so wrong. Edit. The amount of support I am getting from all of you is unbelievable. This really made my month already. Thank you all so much. Finding out that I have a mental disability and my whole life people have hidden it from me. Treated me the same as if I was normal. Whoa. This is actually my biggest fear. That I'm actually a bit mental and the fam just plays it off like no big deal. Let's make him feel normal to fit in. Am I actually special? I get paid a 6 figure salary for a standard 40 hours a week corporate job for a massive well known company. In a given week I do maybe an hour of actual work. The rest of the time I am on reddit or youtube slacking off. I thought when I got this job that eventually someone would figure out I don't do anything all day but here I am 14 years later still doing fck all and getting paid a lot for it. Don't know if it counts. But when I was 15 I looked like a hybrid of McLovin and Napoleon Dynamite and was bullied by this mammoth fattest lineman at school. This kid easily weighed 3 times as much as me. But one day I got sick of his tea. This day also happened to be the day before our final exam in world history. While he was at wrestling practice after school. I went into his locker and stole his textbook. Studa guide. And notebook and took them home with me that night. The next morning. I got to school extra extra early. And put all of the stolen stuff perfectly back in his locker. He rolled in that morning bitching to the administration about how someone stole all his stuff. But when he walked them over to his locker and his stuff was sitting right there. He looked like a total dumbass and the admins refused to help him check the cameras. Pretty sure he failed the test too. At the time. I'm pretty sure he would have beat the living fck out of me had he found out. TLDR. I was a nerd and got revenge in classic nerd fashion. As a police officer I rarely if ever arrest people for possession of marijuana. Something that if found out would probably get me ostracized and possibly fired since I work in a conservative department. Edit. I would to thank those who have thanked me. I really hope when I retire I can help reform not only the laws but the correction system as well. Believe me when I say there's a lot of us out there who share this ideal. However it's not widely acceptable behavior. Those who don't embrace the culture are usually looked down upon. Think vegetarian lion. I got into this field over 15 years ago for a reason. As of late I feel I have finally realized what that was. While I can't completely turn this oil tanker of a problem around. I can try and prevent some from being exposed to an unforgivable system. It really comes down to having the discussion with an open mind and realizing some laws don't stand to the test of time. Again thanks for the support. Throw away time. When I was really young, 9-13, I went on Omegle and Dual M sturbated with another guy who could have been anywhere from in his late 40s to his early 60s. I am a guy and I am straight. After it was over I stupidly told him I was not 18. He said I know. 
comma and nonchalantly skipped me. I was debating posting until I saw Theba Guest Throws post. Very similar only it was me and my older brother. Not worried about a throwaway as this is my FCK it account anyways. Long story short I was maybe 9 or 10. Him 14 I believe. He'd trick me into play wrestling then end up on top. Then promise me my favorite snack if I take it just right. This only went on for 2 years. That's the gist of it. This may sound stupid but I never thought much of it until recently. I'm 29. Since it was the only time he did anything remotely homozool. At least to me. This is literally my first time sharing this with anyone ever. I'm not as shaken up about it as I probably should be. Considering the certain PRN addiction it led to and my virginity to this day. Edit. I knew redditors were cool but holy hell. Thank you all for the overwhelming support. I can't believe people who have never met me are so forward and helpful. I'm fighting hard not to cry in the small food court. There is a super high possibility that I have a child. A girl I was with. Who turned out to be crazy. Lied about being on birth control. The time's like up almost too good and it looks kind of like me. Since then she has been married and her and her husband seem happy together so I've never worried about it. I joined a job that is known for being absolutely miserable and a good chance of me getting killed. I love it. I was suicidal as a teenager and I gave up. Knowing I couldn't kill myself. Now I have a good chance of dying without me having to do anything. And to add to the goods. My family would get a whole lot of life insurance money if I got killed. So I could do them a lot of good becoming a corpse. If word ever got out. I'd be in a lot of trouble and probably pulled. I don't want it. I need this edge or else I fall into a horrible depression. I need the challenge and risk. Edit. For those who guessed. Yes I am military. I can only get aroused if I pretend I'm a child being abused. I'm female and definitely not a child abuser. I don't know if I was abused as a child. I have hazy memories. Real children have nothing to do with my fantasies. But my lustful fantasies sicken me. I would never dare tell anyone this. Not even a therapist. I wish I could stop or redirect my thoughts but so far I haven't been able to. I know I've been as sorely aware and touching myself for as long as I can remember. But I don't know if I've always had these fantasies. It's like there is a devil in me and I hate it. Sounds like a really bad case of the common up pay fetish. Just don't compare yourself to people who are actual abusers or pedophiles since this seems to be far far from the case. I'm gay and a lot of my family friends are pretty homophobic. I know it's far too late for this to be noticed in the thread but it just feels good to say it. Edit. Thanks guys. It really means a lot. I can't feasibly go through and respond to every nice comment. But I really appreciate it all. And it's really boosted my self esteem. Thanks Reddit. I'm roughly 5 years into a relationship and still have no idea if I want to marry the girl. I drunkenly suck my straight friend's dick. He asked me to never tell a soul. I wish I'd never had kids and often fantasize about life without them. I love them. And they have a way of warming my heart on bad days. But I only had them because we were expected to after getting married. We've sunk so many thousands of dollars into childcare over the years I wonder how much more financially stable we'd be. Trying to arrange drop off pickup is a pain when we have to work long hours or have irregular hours. And having to plan any outings well in advance to make sure someone can watch the kid sucks as well. I try to instill good values but they still act like spoiled whiny brats at times. But I do try and make sure and let them know they are loved every day. Edit. Thanks everyone for the encouragement and kind words. And I'm glad I could reaffirm some of Wiles life decisions lol. My youngest came into our room a little while ago because a tummy ache woke him up and he needed me to make it better. He's curled up with me now asleep and I realize these little moments make up for everything. I'm sleeping with the wife of a criminal. And if he finds out there is a very good chance I'll get killed. She told me already he will kill me if he finds out. Why? I don't know. 
just don't care much about my life anymore so if it does happen at least I had some fun. I'm not attracted to my wife when she's high. She smokes weed. And I'm fine with the fact she does. But I don't like the person she is when she's high. She's not as sharp. Is forgetful. Indecisive. And generally disconnected with the world. In other words. The exact opposite of the person I fell in love with. I don't mind that she likes feeling that way. But she wants to be that way all the time. Sometimes I'd like to feel like she wants to be around me in the family without having to be stoned. She's got a lot of anxiety issues. And a few other things that make living with her difficult. But those kinds of things I want to help her with and get through together. I don't feel like I can do that when she prefers lighting up over talking through stress. Edit. Thank you all for the support you've given. I didn't think I would get this much advice and conversation from this. The girl who was my best friend and my fiance at one point committed suicide. I have proof that she faked it and she's now living with a very rich 50 year old man. She's 21. I know these people and she didn't even leave the city. Everyone thinks she passed away and there is even a tombstone with her name on it. I don't know whose body is in there but it's not hers. Edit. This is an alt account so I just put this and wanted this to dwell and leave it alone. Just checked it and there's a lot of questions and I'll try to answer as many as I can. I'm trans. If I came out I'd be disowned and I'd have to drop out as my parents pay for my housing. They were abusive to me as a kid. My entire family would erase me. I'd have to completely ruin my whole life. I have no one to talk to but a few online friends. My profs have used words like trnny in the past so I don't want to be partially out at school. And the world is so transphobic. I think about killing myself a lot too. Can't let that get out either. I don't have time for a mental breakdown. No throwaway because no one knows my reddit account. I'm the son and grandson to the owners of a pretty successful business where I live. My college I plan to go. My education my summers and weekends are spent either working there or learning how to own operate it. My parents. My grandparents. Everyone in my family is a devout Christian. I am not. I am atheist. I can't tell my grandparents. They would probably not allow me to work or inherit the family business. My parents probably would think a devil got me or be completed fine with it. They are a wild card. TLDR. I am atheist. I'm a pathological liar. I've gotten better at it. But half the stories I tell are complete and utter bullshit. Because of this. I've spread a story that a particularly creepy co-worker s sually harassed the female lifeguards where I work. He's been reprimanded several times. I don't feel bad about it either. While the specific story is a lie. He has made several co-workers feel uncomfortable when he's around. Making people feel uncomfortable and s sually harassing someone are two very different things. You really feel justified in ruining this guy's job reputation because you think he's weird? You've heard it here. Folks. It's okay to spread lies that can ruin somebody's job and life just because they seem creepy. You're probably getting off on all the hate. But I really hope this comes back to bite you in the ass and you're removed from society. People like you are a disease. You're a terrible person. When I was younger I was skiing with my brother and my dad. An avalanche went across the pist and stopped about halfway through. My brother was buried by it and since I saw it happen. I knew exactly where he was but because he had annoyed me earlier that day. I pretended not to know whereabouts he was buried and basically now I don't have a brother. Throw away I'm a 22 year old Muslim who doesn't follow the rules. I've drank alcohol. Got blackout drunk. Smoked weed. Etc. I tell my parents that I'm going on a leadership academic conference when in reality. I'm just going to a friend's house to drink and party for 2-3 days straight. If my community and family ever figure this out. My life would be ruined. I'd exiled from my community. Be forced to quit college. Sent to Somalia, where I'm originally from. And take religion classes.